And uh, in terms of it being a, uh, a, a bipartisan issue, you would think this, this, this being an economic issue, I, I know that um, Holly was not maybe the most popular <laughs> constituency on the Hill, but um, do people get it? I mean, does, do people in, do the- I think people are starting to get it, and I think that um, part of our story is that, you know, people think of Hollywood, they think about the red carpet and all the actors and actresses making a lot of money, but the reality is 96% of our workforce is below the line workers, right? So that's a really powerful me message that you, know, you can give to Congress. 84% of all businesses in film and television employ under 10 people. We think of the conglomerates. Well, they hire those people, but so our business is Con, is con, consists of small business, and the average income is somewhere around eighty-seven thousand dollars. So it's higher than the average, uh, you know, the norm for the country. So we should encourage this business to flourish. I mean, Gail, how many people do you hire on one TV show? Over a thousand. Well, you have a big TV show. No, no. Oh. I mean, no. That's that's pretty standard. I mean, and these are jobs in all 50 states. I right. mean, it's not just about California right. or New York. It's about Georgia, and it's about many, many other states. Congressman Doug Collins always tells the story when we do CRC events with him about Sonoy, a small, sleepy, almost you know, tired, sad town in Georgia where Gail brought The Walking Dead. Main Street was closed. How many businesses are there now? There are 48 and they're building new buildings to handle the demand, uh, not only for the show being based there, sorry, you don't have, <laughs> but, uh, but also because of tourism. People want to come and see where The Walking Dead has filmed. And there are tours from all over the country to see how it literally was a place where, where people were trying to figure out where they could move to, away from Sonoy, to now, Having you know hotels on the on the on the drawing boards and um, you know and B and Bs and so many different businesses that would not have existed without a thriving film and TV industry. So it's interesting because almost all of the tech companies are themselves creators of entertainment content now. I, I, I'll say, I'll take Google as the one exception with, that is not. And Facebook. But pretty much everybody else, Apple, Amazon, right, obviously Netflix. Um, these are all content creators as well as tech platforms. So you would think that they would. They, but most of them are coming around. around. They are. They're, they are. Yeah. Yes. Gail can speak to Ace. Go ahead. No, go ahead. <laughs> I mean, ACE is a separate uh, co entity that was set up um, largely at the direction of MPA, but it includes a lot of the tech companies, Amazon, Apple, that um, care about strong copyright protection. So separately, it's a really an enforcement um, entity um, it doesn't engage in any policy or, or you know advocacy on that. But yes, they are. Um, all moving into this space. I would call our member companies tech companies now. They're all moving into streaming. So it's all... And, and Netflix just joined the MPA, yeah. right? So yeah, so it's, it's all, you know, we're all part of the same... You think right? Yeah, no? yeah exactly. <laughs> Hopefully Amazon and Apple will join us at some point as well. But yeah. So do, is that what's needed? So Because you had said before it would be nice if the tech companies ca came along. It sounds like right. they are... Except for Google and Facebook. Yeah. Except for Google, which is the, the most important and one. Facebook. You have to speak it to the microphone. Okay. Google and Facebook <laughs> Thank you. are. Listen, we have Facebook a has a content creator now too. But we're, we're, we're making yeah. the distinction between curated, licensed content and right. user-generated content. Right. And so, of course, Google and Facebook have a lot of user-generated content on their platforms. So, um, so you know, Apple and Amazon and Netflix, who are investing billions and billions of dollars in their content have been much um, more uh, willing to, to talk to us about the piracy so what problem.